Welcome back to my channel Phone Transformer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to inspect element on any iOS device using a simple shortcut. This is a very useful skill if you want to edit or modify any web page on your iPhone or iPad. So, let's get started. First of all, you need to download the shortcut app from the App Store. This is a free app that lets you create and run custom shortcuts on your iOS device. Once you have downloaded the app, Open it and tap on the gallery and type in Edit Web Page. You should see a shortcut with the same name in the results. Tap on it and then tap on Add Shortcut. This will add the shortcut to your library. Now, you have the shortcut that will enable you to inspect element on any web page. To use it, you need to open Safari and go to the web page that you want to edit. For example, I'm going to go to the Wikipedia page of Apple. Once you are on the web page, Tap on the share icon at the bottom of the screen. Then, swipe left until you see the shortcuts icon. Tap on it and then tap on edit web page. This will launch the shortcut and open a new tab with the editable version of the web page. You can now inspect element on the web page by tapping on any element that you want to edit. You will see a toolbar at the bottom of the screen with various options to modify the element. For example, you can change the text, the color, the size, the font, the alignment, and more. You can also delete or hide any element that you don't want to see. You can also use the pinch gesture to zoom in or out of the web page. You can also use the undo and redo buttons to revert any changes that you made. You can also tap on the preview button to see how the web page looks like after your edits. When you are done with your edits, you can tap on the done button at the top right corner. This will close the shortcut and return you to the original web page. You can also tap on the share icon and then tap on save to files or share to save or share your edited web page. And that's how you can inspect element on any iOS device using a simple shortcut. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.